Hello, viewers. Welcome back, and welcome to the boardroom, our deluxe Let's Do Video boardroom. Uh, for the first time, I'm so happy to have you here, Robin. Robin, could you please introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Robin Bunovich. I lead product marketing for our AI here at Zoom, so I focus on all of our AI products across the platform. I'm yeah. excited to be here. Thank you. And I'm excited to have you here because we've been doing some videos about Zoom tasks, Viewers are very interested, and you are definitely the person to get the information from. Uh, this is from a Zoomtopia keynote. Boy, talk about in our industry, there isn't a bigger stage to stand on. And by the way, I got to say, you look like you're having so much fun, and there's a lot of people you couldn't, you put a gun to their head, they wouldn't do this. Um, and this one, one last one, I love this in particular, what Zoom is doing with AI in the contact center. That is, we're going to have to talk about that. But today, um, I want to talk about uh, Zoom tasks. And I think our viewers have an idea, but just in case someone's just tuning in right now and saying, Zoom, what? I haven't heard about Zoom Tasks. Can you can you give us an overview? Sure. So Zoom Tasks, it's a new product that we, we released um, earlier this month. And essentially what it does is it helps you surface, manage, and complete tasks across your day. So we all have um, lots of places where we write down notes um, throughout the day. But Zoom Tasks um, keeps it all in one place, organizes it for you. And um, the most exciting part of it is it pulls directly from your meeting. So every time you're having a conversation and you leave your meeting, you know there's some to-dos. And um, Zoom Tasks keeps all of those organized with you right in the Zoom Workplace app. That, that kind of blew me away because, I mean, I was briefed on it. I heard you explain it at, at the keynote, but then when it was turned on, I went into my settings, I activated it, activated it, and I kind of forgot about it. And I went about my day and I had a few meetings and I know my to-dos for my meetings. I have my own system. I have my, you know, come on, we all have our systems. And then I'm like, oh, that's right. I forgot that new Zoom tasks. And I looked and what the AI pulled out, I was like, oh, that's right. I forgot to do that and I need to do that. And it was, and even the things that I, it was like, I, I remember that I didn't need help with that. It was just so reassuring to see it all in a list. It really does such a great job um, from these meeting summaries. Yeah. And that's one of, I think the most popular, most useful use cases for tasks. If you're someone like me and likely you, we're in back-to-back -back meetings all day long. And there's not a lot of time to pause and organize your to-do list. And in every one of those meetings, the tasks and the next steps and the to-dos pile up. So having a place we can go at the end of the day and just seeing everything in one list, um, I find it very helpful. Now, this ties into the bigger Zoom workplace story. Uh, I, we've done videos on Zoom workplace, and you just have this one, you know, you think of Zoom, Zoom, well, it used to be Zoom meetings. And then we added a few features, and it used to be Zoom had a few different apps. Now Zoom is one app. It's Zoom workplace. And I have it open all day, and, and having everything tied between it is great. But um, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get to the point where I get to do's from emails. I get to do's from chat. I get to do's from Zoom docs. I get to Zoom. I get to do's from everywhere. Is, is, me, is summaries the first step? So summaries is definitely the first step. And today you can also pull in tasks from your team chat. So if you see something like, for example, I used to be one of those people who had a lot of red dots. So if there was something that someone asked me to do in a team chat and I knew I wasn't going to do it right at that moment and I would get to it later, it, I would mark it as unread, right? We do that a lot with emails, with chats. Now I'll just mark it as a task so I don't have a million red dots to make me you know, have a ton of anxiety across the day, but um, they can just organize in my task list. And then when it's time to kind of do some focus work, I'll go to my task list and everything is there. You know, that ties into, I read a book, actually every three or four years, I reread this book. It's called Getting Things Done by David Allen. And it, it totally changed my life. And, and I fall out of the system. I have to reread the book to start it again. But one of the big things is having your, your tasks all in one place. Otherwise, you're trying to keep them in here. And instead of working on stuff, you're trying to remember, I have to check my email. I have all these red dots. I have all these red dots. The red dots are in your brain. They're not just on your screen. And putting them all in task, it's like, I don't have to worry about what's in my emails. I don't have to worry about what's in my meeting summaries. I don't have to worry about my chats. I know it's it's all in my task. So it, it ties into that workflow. Uh, and with that, I'd like to get into the workflow. You... I think you might have been reading my 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 favorite book while you, while you did this because it uses some sort of getting things done workflow things. Um, can we talk about the recommended tasks? Yeah. So the recommended tasks um, are right there when you go to tasks in your in your Zoom Workplace app, and that's all of the tasks that surfaced throughout the meetings in your day. So 
Um, it starts with a meeting summary. And in each meeting summary, you'll see at the bottom of it, it has some next steps. So Zoom Task kind of collects those and uh, puts them in your recommended task. And it usually, it, it's it's pretty accurate. So I'll go in there at the end of the day and say, oh, yeah, yeah, that is exactly something that I was asked to do or agreed to do. Um, but as we kind of continue to develop tasks, we are going to be adding it to um, other products across Workplace. So you'll see that in email, like we said, in docs. Um, and then, of course, you'll also be able to get some of those tasks done. So that's kind of the next step, right? So you have the task, but now it's like, oh, I have to do all of these things. <laughs> so we're hoping that, um, you know, with AI, you can get a lot of those done faster. So if the task is, for example, um, create a marketing plan. And um, there's a drop down that says, um, you know, create a doc. In the future, that doc can start populating your marketing plan. So you have already a first draft. Um, for now, you can open up a doc and, and it can suggest a template. So um, we're really kind of moving in that direction to help you help take work off of your plate and, and help you cross off some of those to-do list items a lot faster. Oh, there's oh, there's three things that you just said that I love, and I can my brain can only remember two things at once. This is going to be hard, uh, but but uh, one thing is the the workflow, the recommended tasks. I was a little worried if if I'm in a bunch of meetings and, and I don't have time to check this, all of a sudden my task list is going to have a hundred new tasks in it, and I still have my old. I I need a filter. I need to mm -hmm. I need to look at them first. And the recommended task, oh, it's doesn't show on this screen, but there's a little accept button, and I could just go through them and say, oh, that's a real one, that's a real one, that's a real one, and get rid of the um the ones that I don't want to do. But more importantly, like this is another kind of David Allen thing, the two minute rule comes into effect. There, there's a productivity thing called the two minute rule, which is if you have a test that's gonna take less than two minutes, just do it because it'll take more time to track it. So as I'm going through those recommended tasks, I'm saying, approve it, approve it, two minute rule, I'm doing it, approve it, two minute rule, I'm doing it. I'm so productive just going through this. So I love it. Another thing I love is at the top, you see a new task. You can just add a manual task. We've been talking about the AI tasks, but We've been saying just having all your tasks here. This is even without AI. I think I would be using this as my, as my task list. Uh, but the the thing that I love the most that you said, I did remember all three. I give gold star for David. Um, if you click on any of those tasks, you get this pop up, a and it's great enough just to have the list of tasks. But what am I going to do with this task? Well, I could create a doc, schedule a meeting, start. And the AI says, David. You want to create a doc for this one and i click it and it takes me there so oh it really is giving me a little little push sometimes i need a little push uh so this is i i, I consider this agentic there's a lot of debate over whether agentic means you know more than me it, it, am i right are we agentic now so so we we do think we're agentic because our we define agentic in in four with four key skills and i'll just talk about them briefly one is um, orchestration. So there's AI in the background that's orchestrating some of these tasks. The second one is reasoning. So like it suggests what um, what action you might want to take. So that that plays into some reasoning. The third is it has memory. So for example, it might remember what you discussed in the meeting and then can get you started with the right content in that doc. And then finally is what is highlighted most here is task action. So that's another big component of agentic capabilities. And with, with Zoom Task, we're really kind of bringing that to life here to show that you can take action on something. And a great example of this, and I'm not sure if you've tried it yet, is the schedule a meeting one. This one is really great because you can I can just say, um, schedule a meeting with um, David this week. And it will go in ahead and find the right time for us. It can, you know, say do it can create the agenda for us you know depending on how much information you give it it goes ahead and does and does that without me ever having to look at our calendars and comparing and understanding okay well you're in this time zone and i'm in this time zone um so that one is a really good example of i think um you know what we're seeing in the agentic workflows yeah th there's a reason that the zoom scheduler uh, product is so so popular that one's that one's kind of going viral and and this is taking that to the next level you don't even need to use, use zoom scheduler you just no. let the AI do it. And, and I'm assuming as we develop the AI, we'll, we'll be doing more of these things. It'll, it'll, instead of saying, Hey, David started to create a doc. It'll say, David, I created your doc. It'll, exactly. Exactly. Oh, the, the personal assistant that I've needed all my life. <laughs> Am I finally going to get it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and a lot cheaper than a, than a real personal assistant. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, people say, you know, uh, Oh, I have trouble with the new AI. It, it, it made a mistake. I'm like, if you 
hired a real assistant, it might make a mistake once in a while, uh, and it would be a lot more expensive. Um, one, one more fun thing I wanted to share with you, because Zoom now has a, an experience center in London, in England. Is that right? We do. So, so I thought we'd, we'd use the magic uh, uh, video. <laughs> Say hi to our friends in London. I think they're across the street. They're looking at us right now. Hey, everybody in London, we're doing the, uh, we're doing the Zoom task video. All right. Th thanks for putting up with me. I'm, I'm silly sometimes. Um, is there anything else we should share with our viewers that, uh, uh, you know, they need to know about Zoom tasks? No, I think it's, um, it's a great way to start, you know, trying it out, play around with it. Um, Zoom tasks comes with your Zoom workplace license, so there's no additional cost. Um, you can find it on your um, workplace app if you're on the latest client. And um, I would say, like you, like you did, you know, have your meetings across the day and then take a look at the list at the end of the day. And um, I think you'll find that it, it does save you a lot of time. It helps keep you organized, um, helps keep the anxiety down with all of the red dots. So um, I think it's fun and we're, we have a lot more coming. So, you know, as, as we do at Zoom, we continue to innovate. So you'll see a lot more coming in the, in the next uh, few weeks and months with tasks. Yeah, you need to let your developers take a vacation once in a while. I mean, because the pace, so every, well, it's like 4,000 new, you know, uh, new features. The last Zoomtopia was crazy. Um, but, but, and thank you, thank you so much for being here and a quick shout out to the, uh, uh, analyst team. I just mentioned in chat, you know, I love zoom, zoom tasks. It'd be great to talk to someone. And within less than a week, they, a big company, sometimes it takes a lot of time to get things happening. Um, they got this set up and they got me Robin. So, so big shout out to the analyst team. Really appreciate that. And, uh, let us know in the comments, what you're doing with zoom tasks. Uh, thank you, Robin, for being here and thanks everyone for watching. Thank you for having me.